Yesterday we told you about how magical dining has been extended a little bit. So from now until October 7th, you can still get out and check out some great restaurants and help out some local charities. So maybe you have a dinner planned at one of those restaurants. Why not throw in a little arts mm -hmm. and culture? So sounds like a fun night here to give us a roundup of September arts events. Cole Neesmith from the Creative City Project. We always love having you yeah. here. Welcome. Always a joy to be here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and start with what's going on at the wrap. This yeah. is a really Cool show. So Orlando Rep does theater for young audiences, so it's a great experience for the family. And they just opened Tuck Everlasting, which was based on a novel mm -hmm. uh, for kids. And it's a story about living a life of adventure and what is it like to kind of take that journey and navigate that sense of childhood and wonder. Yeah. Do yeah. you really want to live forever? Do you? Mm, yeah, that's the question. <laughs> that's, I don't yes. know that I do. Yeah, my friend Dan actually did all the costumes for that. That's oh, so cool. To, yeah. Look at you. You have the inside scoop. I just think it's cool. He's very yeah. talented. No, yeah. Theater's yeah. fun that way. There's exactly. so many people who come together, costumes, set yeah, designers, so actors, talent. directors, musicians. Yeah. yeah, it's good. That'd be fun, too, if you had that on your summer reading list, you know. Oh, yeah. Get yeah. out there Get and see, see that. Come to life. Yeah. Well, another classic, Evita. Yeah. Coming Don't cry in. for me, Argentina. Oh, right. I want to sing the song right now. <laughs> Please do. But I I'm tempted. No, I sing off camera. <laughs> That's happening at Orlando Shakes, which uh, last season they changed their name officially. It was Orlando Shakespeare Theater. Okay. But they do so much more than Shakespeare. So they said, let's just call it Orlando Shakes. And Evita is one of those non-Shakespeare productions. You can see it's obviously a musical about the life yeah. of mm -hmm. Ava Perón in 1930s to 1950s Argentina. Of course, Madonna did it all of back course. in the day in the yes. 90s, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so they always do amazing musical productions. And you can see the sets are amazing, the yeah. lighting's amazing, the acting, the music, the dancing, all of it's wonderful. So again, Magical Dining Month. Get some good dinner, maybe mm -hmm. in the downtown right. area, Mills 50 area, and then go and see Evita at Orlando Shakes. Yeah, there's a lot happening in the Mills 50 Absolutely. area for sure. Yeah. And uh, One Beat One's coming up. Yeah, it's a global music collective. So it's musicians from 17 countries, and they do different residencies. And they're doing a residency at the Atlantic Center for the Arts. It's over in New Smyrna Beach. And the Atlantic Center for the Arts is an amazing facility, and they have a lot of public uh, accessible classes around music and uh, conversations with artists. And so every year they bring in the One Beat Collective, and then they do a performance, which will happen on September 28th. Uh, it's at 7 o'clock out at the Atlantic Center for the Arts in New Smyrna Beach. And it's a really interesting collective of musicians. It's electronic musicians, it's classical music mu musicians, banjo players, world musicians. And so it's kind of all of these intersecting, really interesting music styles. And they spend two weeks creating original content there at the Atlantic Center for the Arts. And they put on the performance at the end of it. And then some of the artists will perform some of their own original work and that kind of thing. So it'll be a fun night over in New Smyrna Beach. They have it all. Yeah, awesome. yeah, and I love that so much of this is kid-friendly and mm -hmm. family-friendly because it's so important to expose kids to the arts For early sure. so that they appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, especially at Orlando, Orlando Rep and then the yes. One Beat Experience. Both of those are great. For families, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, and okay, so a big event coming back to <laughs> yeah. downtown Orlando, Immerse Downtown. Last year, I happened to be walking through downtown on this weekend, and Good. it was so... Incredible. Tell us right. what we can expect this year when it's happening. All yeah, so we're looking a little bit down the road, October 18th and 19th, 19th two days, more than a thousand artists in the streets and public spaces of downtown Orlando, wow. shutting down Orange Avenue, activating Cineth Plaza in front of the Dr. Phillips Center. <laughs> this year, Blue Man Group will headline on cool. Saturday night. Um, there's a big mm. inflatable installation by a group of artists from the United Kingdom called the Architects of Air. Uh, it's made from translucent materials, and you walk through these colored corridors. It's about 7,000 square feet. Wow. Uh, the Orlando Ballet, the Orlando Philharmonic. Everyone's uh, coming. Yeah. And it's like an all-day thing, so you can go out during the day, or you can go out and experience the nighttime. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, it's f 5 to 11, Okay. Um, and then it's a little bit earlier on Saturday as well, and as you can see, just tons of stuff. Again, family-friendly, bring the family downtown, tons of families down there, especially during the first half of the night, you know, 5 to 8 or so, uh, kids, you know, being pushed around in strollers and, and wide-eyed amazement, uh, <laughs> Me too. just like yes. the adults. I would wide-eyed if I saw yeah. Yes, yeah. I was in wide-eyed amazement so as just, I walked through there. So you just didn't know what it was. Well, I had gone to a show, we had gone to see a comedian at the Dr. Phillips Center, yeah. and then we walked out, and it was like, ooh, look at all this. Look for sure, yeah, a, a big added bonus for sure. And that's exactly. in October. That's October 18th and 19th, and I'm sure we'll talk about it again next month. That's